Did he ask about me? Oh. Going to the gym today. Gonna go. I was off the weekend with it because the gym is closed on the weekend that I go to. But as you saw, a shot of it, so now you know where I go. Gonna go work out this morning. Then I've worked 12 days, so I don't know if I'm gonna be filming anymore because it's a really busy day. What, so you're addicted to them now? Yeah. I'm not taking a picture. Oh, I thought you were taking a picture. <laughs> no, get hold of it. <laughs> As you can tell, it's the day before weigh-in. I'm guzzling my water the night before because in the morning I don't, there are two reasons I do this. In the morning, I don't want to be dehydrated and thirsty, extreme, like I have a glass of something with my breakfast. But I don't like to be extremely thirsty because I have weigh in and it's not until 11.30. Also, it flushes out. If you drink water before a weigh in, this is my experience, this is what I've learned, it flushes out all the salt and all the extra stuff that's kind of in you before you get weighed. So water is a natural detoxifier and it pretty much gives your body a detoxification right before you get weighed. Which is good because it gets rid of the salt and everything that builds up. And even though I try and avoid salty foods and salt in general, usually 48 hours before, I do that as a last bit. If there's anything left that's putting even 0.1 of a pound on, I do that. And I have six points left for today. I don't know if I'll use them. There was one day this week that I only used 20 points out of 29, and just because I wasn't hungry. But, Big Blue. Hopefully it's a good way in tomorrow. I'll let you know. Come in and lay like that, you Thank you for what you're at, Lay. He's the ultimate symbol of Adolf Hitler's Nazi You let machine. one go, I don't want to be there. Oh! Skipper, it out, yeah. Reveal a much different message. When that tires, just say a prayer that I'll, I'll go to sleep tonight. No, I will. It's been a long three days. I feel accomplished this week. I went to the gym four times, like I did last week. I've been eating really well. Shockingly. I had a treat yesterday. I had a uh, Weight Watchers banana split. It was a recipe that I found on the Weight Watchers online. It was just awesome. But this week I really... I really been feeling like I'm accomplishing something. And I feel a change in my body. And I really... I feel like I'm going to get there. And I never thought that I would. And it might take time, but I don't care if it takes time. Even though I'd love by next year to be looking at you looking like a different girl. And I will. I have to keep saying I will. And it's been wonderful. And this YouTube thing has even helped me. I really do believe that. Because I just watched some old videos today and I see a change in myself. I see a major change in myself, actually, from looking back. And that's only four months ago. Just happy. And I'm here working on some YouTube stuff tonight, since I barely post anymore besides Highlights of a Loser. And I watched a video where I was talking about how I think that I'll always be big. And it got me thinking course. It got me thinking that I really don't deserve to have to be forced to live in the body I don't want to and that I can change that. And even though I get down sometimes and really think that 
nothing is going to change. It's changing and it's changing. It, like, it is changing. I'm saying it's not. But it is. I can fit into my skinny jeans now. I haven't been able to fit into those in a long time. And I had a little cry, as you can see, right after I just filmed because I was just. I'm very thankful and just very overwhelmed because I never thought that I'd get here. Not in a million years. And I started writing. I started writing my life. Not even my life. Well, it is my life. I started writing about my weight from the time that I was 13. And I wrote 25 pages today. Okay, that is down. Watch fingers. Let her down? Yeah. Okay. Watch fingers. Oh, Jesus Christ, she fell off me. Lift her up again. No, no, she's out. Wait, okay, wait now. Wait now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You good? Mine is a bat. I can't see. And I know you're going to let that come right down my fingers. I thought that was your fingers when I let it down the first time. I know you really told me. Okay, that. try it. I don't know if it's on there or not. This thing like that anyway. Slide it back and see if no, it's... No, it's all right. You don't have to slide it back, but push it back. No, no, not this way, over that way. There it is. That's good. It's officially treat night. Saturday is usually when I either use my 49 for a special event, because most special events are on Saturday, or I dip into them. And I dipped in three of them tonight. I have 20, or no, 31 Old Dutch Barbecue Chips, 7 points, 2 Weight Watchers Chocolates, which still equal to 2 points, and then the most delicious creation, the Jones Zero Calorie Diet Cream Soda. And most of the time when people come to the house and they see me drinking that, they think that it's a cooler <laughs> because of the bottle that it's in. But... That's what I do every Saturday, is have some sort of a treat, and this is tonight's treat. I'll go back very hardcore tomorrow as far as healthier choices, but you gotta have a treat. Mm -hmm.